Welcome to News Bites with a Difference. Today from Kabul, Afghanistan. The Islamic militant group Taliban said Monday, October 20th, its gunman killed a Christian aid worker in the capital of Kabul because she was spreading Christianity in Afghanistan. The Christian aid group serve serving emergency relief and vocational enterprises in Afghanistan identified the woman as 34-year-old Gail Williams. Interior ministry officials and Serve Afghanistan said the dual South African British national who worked with handicapped Afghans was killed by a gunman on a motorcycle. In a statement monitored by Boss News Life, Serve Afghanistan explained that the young woman was killed while walking to work at around 0800 hours local time. Monday, October 20th. Gail was shot and killed shortly before she was due to arrive at the office. Reports say that two men on a motorcycle shot her and then fled the scene. The group added. Surf, Af Surf Afghanistan said she died almost immediately after the attack. In published remarks, Taliban spokesman Zabiula Mujahid defended the decision to kill her. This woman came to Afghanistan to teach Christianity to the people of Afghanistan, he said. Our leaders issued a decree to kill this woman. This morning our people killed her in Kabul. Serve Afghanistan strongly denied she was involved in proselytizing or forcing people to convert to Christianity which are prohibited by law in the country. She was a person who always loved the Afghans and was dedicated to serving those who are disabled. Needless to say, we are all in shock, the group said. Now, together, let's you and I pray. Father God, precious in your sight, is the death of your saints. Father, thank you that we know Gail Williams is present with you in heaven right now. And Father, we just pray for her extended family and friends around the world that you give them grace to accept our loss of her presence. And Father, we pray for these Taliban and their leaders. Father, we pray that through the death of your saint, that you will build your church in authority and power in that nation. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. William's murder has underscored the dangers faced by Christian missionary and aid workers in Afghanistan. Last year, the Taliban killed two South Korean Christian men. They were part of a group of 23 evangelical aid workers from South Korea who were kidnapped in July 2007 by Taliban gunmen on a highway in central Afghanistan. The remaining Christians were later released after weeks of tense negotiations between the militants and South Korean government representatives. Five international aid workers have been killed so far this year. The bloodiest attack took place in August when Taliban militants reportedly killed three aid workers and their driver. Afghan civilians have also been targeted. In one of the latest incidents, Afghan authorities said Five children died in a suicide attack on a German convoy in the northern Afghan province of Kunduz, Monday, October 20th. And also two members of the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force were killed. Earlier, Afghan officials said Taliban insurgents killed some 30 people Thursday, October 16th including a child traveling on two buses in southern Kandahar province. The Taliban said it was responsible for the deaths of 
27 people who it claimed were all Afghan soldiers. However, Afghanistan's Defense Ministry spokesman General Zahir Azimi told reporters there were no soldiers on board the buses. According to United Nations estimates, at least 3,000 people have died in insurgency-related violence this year. Nearly half of them civilians. International forces and Afghan troops have been fighting militants sympathetic to the Taliban and Al-Qaeda terror network for the past seven years. But the North Atlantic Treaty Organization has admitted more troops are needed to win the battle. Now, together, let you and I pray again. For <coughs> Father God, we cry out to you concerning these wanton deaths in Afghanistan. Deaths of civilians. Deaths of children. Deaths of aid workers. Deaths of Christians of everyday life because they are Christians. Father, we ask you to honor your word where you say vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Father, we're asking you to repay by bringing these militants to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and transform their lives from the inside out. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me for news with a difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you in detail. And may Father God bless you. We produce news bites regularly, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.